hi guys this is chef Gina academy so welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be discussing about the structural detailing of a deep beam and this is actually how to determine the diameter of bar for the side bars in which is necessary in deep beams and also how to arrange this if this is your first time on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification so that whenever i release awesome videos like this you get to watch them when the depth of the beam is greater than or equals to 750 then we said the beam is a deep beam so the design of a deep beam is not really different from a normal beam most of the time and these beam are usually used in foundations most of the time it's only in maybe heavy load heavy structures maybe public buildings that require a large span that is when you have a deep beam most of the time so and then the design is almost similar to a normal beam so the only thing that the code recommend that is a little bit different from the normal beam is the provision of what we call the side laser or what we call this laser bar or side bar sorry so this side bar is actually provided to control crack in beam you know when the beam is so wide and then you design the beam you provide a number of reinforcement at the bottom a number of reinforcement at the top let's say the beam is one meter de depth so because there's no reinforcement between these two top and bottom reinforcement there might be tendency for the concrete section to crack under compressive load so that is why the code recommend providing sidebar or side lasers so according to the code i think bsc 10 clause 3.12 you can check around that side you are going to find it there the minimum bar size for a laser beam or a sidebar so the bar size, the size in which you can use, is actually given by a formula. The formula is called SB multiplied by B divided by FY. So let's say this is the size of the beam. The B is said to be the width of the beam, and that is actually what we have in this formula. FY is same thing as the uh, the tensile strength of the steel reinforcement, the cast is the strength of steel. So, but the sb you can see we, we the diff, distance between the two the two side bars that are provided for this kind of beam is uh is called the pitch so this that spacing or the distance called pitch is represented as sb and according to the code the maximum speech that you can have between side bar reinforcement is 250 millimeters so if we use 250 millimeters as our as the 250, 250 millimeters as the sb that is the spacing between the reinforcement is 250 pitch so and this pitch must be less than or equals to 250 the maximum value is 250 then this sb is the depth of the beam so let's say our beam is 300 then fy is the cast is the strength of steel 410 so substituting this will give you the size of bar that you are supposed to use maybe 10 mm as your sidebar or 12 mm reinforcement as sidebar so if you do this computation so let's say our beam is 300 by 300 and the depth of the beam is one meters though in this case the depth does not really matter what matter is the width so Evaluating what we have outside the square root, inside the square root, 250 in millimeters multiplied by 300 in millimeters divided by 410. At the end of the day, we have 180 something. So, square root of this, if I copy this and then I find the square root. so the square root is 13.3 so at the end of the day this from this computation we have to provide a bar size minimum of 13.5 but we know in the market we cannot find a bar size of 13. what we can find is 6 10 12 
16. So we pick the next maximum. That is, we are going to provide what? A 16 mm bar size. So this is how to determine the size of the, of the sidebar. So now let us look at how to detail this. To get more in-depth knowledge on detailing, I have a course on Udemy titled Structural Detailing of Reinforced Concrete using AutoCAD. In this course, I'm going to show you step by step how you can use AutoCAD in order to detail solid slab, raft slab, RC columns, staircases, also how to detail irregular shaped slab, slab with openings, how to detail RC beam, shear wall, foundations, both part footing, combined footing, raft slab, and also how to prepare by bending schedule. Then another amazing part of this is you are also going to learn how to correctly place structural drawings into sheet using AutoCAD with the correct scale. So this course is about nine hours video and you have a lot of articles and downloadable resources attached to the course. So this is really amazing. If you are really interested in learning the, the, the real detailing, then you should try and take this course. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So you can check the link of the description of this video to get the course. So this is our beam. We've designed it. We end up with 3Y16 at the bottom, 3Y16 at the top, and then we've provided detailing through this cross section. You can see that these two reinforcement is far apart. And the depth of the beam is one meters. The width is 300. So based on the design, based on what we just did now, we are expected to provide a bar size of 16 mm. And then the pitch value, that is the spacing between this reinforcement must be what? Must be 250. So how do we now know the number of sidebar we have to use? So let's say this is the detailing along the longitudinal section. What we all just have to do is provide a long reinforcement because it's a straight bar. It is just provided to prevent crack. So let me make it the same layout as this one, match property. So, but this reinforcement has to be arranged from around here to here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's copy this guy. With this line. So it's supposed to start about uh, after we've removed, let's say in case when there is a, a concrete slab attached to this beam. So after we've removed the depth of the beam, so it's going to be around, in this case, let's pick our beam to be like, uh, let's say the slab is attached to this beam is 200, 200 thickness. So let's move this guy about 250 down that is where it's going to start from 250 down and then it's going to hang about yeah anyway and then the spacing between them must be 250 so all we just have to do is uh you mirror i want to mirror this to the other side and then i extend the reinforcement like this then I drew a line to put the mash property. So that means the reinforcement is going to start from here. Let me move this line a little bit. Start from the start of this arrow and hand towards it. So, and then you can even put a donut to signify that you are referring to this reinforcement. So the naming of the reinforcement is almost the same thing as the normal bar it's almost the same thing so we have we want to know the number so how do we know the number we have to measure from the start of this beam to this to the end of this reinforcement we have about 817 so if we divide 817 by the pitch which is the spacing between the reinforcement that we want to have 817 divided by 250 so that means we need a minimum of how many pitch reinforcement we need about three or four so we need about three of this and most of the time they are just provided at the side of the beam so if we bring the first one here 
so let's say we have 250 i'm going to copy this one from the center line 250 this is one then uh i have another one 250 again because the speech that i'm using is 500 then i can have the last one 250 yeah so that means i will have three number of this and what i can do is uh you can look at the spacing between this this top bar and the last one the spacing is about 180 something so you can reduce the spacing to be so that the spacing here is 200 183 minus 200 will give us 17 so let's move this guy down by 17. so this is how the reinforcement is supposed to look like so that means we have three number on each side so that will be two times three so the detailing here is just going to give us 2 by 3, 16 mm, because from the calculation, we have to provide a diameter of 16 mm, and then we give it a, we give it a bar mark. So let's say this is bar mark 4. So this is just the difference in detailing for a deep beam and a normal beam. The provision of sidebar is what differentiate them. Then on the section, you can also show your your sidebar by using this approach there are a lot of approach in which you can use but this one look much more easier match property just highlight it like this then you can copy it then you connect these three lines together trying to show that it is one line and then you give it the same uh color then you name it just like the way we've named this one so at the end of the day we say two by three y16 bar mark o4 so this is your this is your sidebar so this is how to detail a deep beam the major difference is just the sidebar so once you detail the main compression and tension reinforcement at the top and bottom then you have to use the formula that i showed you earlier on how to determine the minimum size so once you determine the minimum size and then you have to select a pitch value a pitch spacing that is the spacing between these two sidebars according to the code the maximum spacing is 250 so in your own case you can try to use 200 but to be economic to be economic in your design you can just go with 250 as the as the standard then once you do that you can now start determining the number so once you know the number you just put it it's just a straight line actually it's a straight bar most of the time it's always straight in cross section in longitudinal section is a straight bar so once you put the straight bar then you can indicate the number on the section of the beam thank you